Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to Learn Linux TV. Logging is something that I've discussed on this channel multiple times and with good reason. Logs are something that system administrators use to troubleshoot just about everything. Whether you're troubleshooting a system issue, a network issue, possibly a software problem, logs contain all kinds of information that you can use to pinpoint what exactly is causing the issue that you're running into. Thankfully, NetData, a solution I've been covering on this channel for a while now, has just received a new plugin that makes logging easier for us Linux admins. More specifically, NetData now has support for SystemD's journal, which will be the focus of today's video. Since most of the popular Linux distributions out there utilize SystemD's journal for logging, this feature will definitely come in handy. And in this video, we're going to take a look at this plugin. I'm going to show it off in all of its glory. But if you haven't already heard of NetData before, then what exactly is it? NetData is a solution that helps administrators stay on top of their servers. It monitors key metrics, provides customizable dashboards, and it helps identify negative trends before they become actual problems. It can also alert you when there's something you need to pay attention to, help you prepare reports for stakeholders, and more. With the new SystemD Journal plugin that I'll be covering today, NetData's toolset is even more useful than before. And if you're new to NetData, I have a full getting started guide already on my channel, and I'll leave a card for that video right about here. I'm looking forward to showing you this plugin, but before I do, I need to give you guys a quick disclaimer. This video is being sponsored by NetData, but it is not a review, so I won't be giving you my opinion of NetData in this video. However, if you are curious what I think about NetData, then I'll leave a card for my review video right about here. In that video, I'll let you know exactly what I think about NetData, its pros and its cons, and that video was not sponsored by NetData. In this video in particular, the goal is to show you the new plugin and also how to use it. So what I'm going to do in this video is focus on the learning. Speaking of learning, in the next section, I'm going to give you a quick refresher on SystemD's journal. This is something that I've covered on the channel before, but I think it's a good idea to give you a refresher on it so that way we can understand how NetData actually operates with it and how it benefits SystemD's journal. I'm also working on a dedicated video that'll cover SystemD's journal more specifically, and I'll leave a link for that video in the description down below once it's done. I don't have an ETA, but it is something that you'll look forward to on this channel. Anyway, with all of that out of the way, it's time to get started. I can't wait to show you this new plugin, but first, let's go through the quick refresher that I mentioned, and then we'll dive in. I mentioned earlier that the journal has to do with logging, so let's start there. As a system administrator, you're going to run into all kinds of situations throughout your career that'll have you look at log files for clues. Regardless of what you might be troubleshooting, the thing is, the clues that you're seeking to help you pinpoint the root cause will probably be in a log file somewhere, and this is why system administrators take logging very seriously. Traditionally, Linux apps log information to a file within the var log directory. It's been like this for quite some time now. That's the traditional approach. The journal within systemd is a new approach to logging. The files within var log are going to be standard text files, while systemd's journal is going to consist of binary logs. Now we're not going to get too far into the difference in this video, but one thing that you do need to know is that the tools that you'll use to manage one over the other are going to be different. You see, we're in a bit of a state of transition at the moment, going from the traditional approach to logging, you know, files in the var log directory, to the newer approach, which nowadays is the systemd journal. Quite a few of the popular distributions out there have already switched to this, so chances are your distribution of choice is already using this technology. But the thing is, I want to show you how the systemd journal works, so what I'm going to do right now is switch over to this laptop, and we're going to take a look at it. The primary method for interacting with systemd's journal is to use the journal ctl command. One way to inspect logs is to inspect logs of a specific application. For example, I could type dash u for unit, and the unit that I want to inspect is SSH. Now, it doesn't really matter if you inspect the same service as me, because not every server is going to have SSH installed. You could use whatever service you want to as an example. We're not going to be changing anything. We're only going to be viewing information. Anyway, when I enter a command like this, we'll see logging information that pertains to whatever it is that we decided to inspect, in this case, SSH. One thing to note though, on your distribution, the service might be SSHD, but it's pretty much the same thing. Anyway, right here, we see logging output, 
that is specific to that unit. So all of this information right here pertains to SSH. Now if I add the dash F option here, what it's going to do is follow information for that unit. So if I wanted to see information about SSH as it happens, I could just watch my terminal window because the dash F option is activating follow mode, which enables me to, again, follow the unit. And information regarding SSH might be useful if I'm troubleshooting a potential security issue. Maybe I feel like something might have gotten into a server. SSH logs might be one of the first things that I check. And with a systemd system, I'll use the journal CTL command to inspect a unit like SSH to find out more information. And that brings us back to NetData. Since the whole point of NetData is to help you stay on top of the resource health of your Linux servers, then the systemd journal is right up its alley. Since the systemd journal includes all kinds of information that pertains to the health of your server, then it's definitely something that you'll want to pay attention to. And with NetData's new systemd journal plugin, it helps you do exactly that. In fact, if you're already using NetData, then you have access to this new feature right now. Since NetData is a zero config application, it tunes itself to your server. And if you have a server that has the systemd journal and you've updated NetData recently, then it's already paying attention to your logs. You just have to know where to look. So let's check it out. Right here, I have my NetData cloud account. And what you're seeing is what I'm using to actually monitor my real servers. This isn't a demo environment. This is my production environment. So what we'll do is take a look at this new feature as it pertains to my servers. When it comes to setting this up for the very first time, I would normally include a section that covers that, but like I just mentioned, NetData is a zero config application. You don't have to do anything to enable this new feature. If you're up to date, you have the newest version of NetData installed, well, you're good to go. So where's the new feature? It's pretty easy to find. All we have to do is go up here to the logs tab, we'll click on that, and then on the right hand side, I have a list of nodes that I have NetData installed onto. And what I could do is just scroll through the list here and click on any of these servers. For example, I could click on this one. This is the server for the Home Lab Show, a podcast that I'm a part of. Anyway, right here on the screen, I have a list of log entries already. I didn't have to set anything up. All I had to do was go to my NetData Cloud account and look through the information here, and I'm seeing actual log entries from my server. And while I was scrolling through this earlier, I noticed an actual problem. For example, if I click on any of my Kubernetes nodes, I have an error here that they're not able to log to my Graylog server. So already this new feature has pointed out something that I need to pay attention to. My logging system is currently not working. This is a silent failure, but you know what? NetData alerted me about this, so now I have a chance to fix it. Now, if you're more entry level and you don't have experience managing a number of Linux servers like I do on a daily basis, you're probably already seeing why logging can be a little bit of a problem. I have all kinds of logging entries to look through if I want to troubleshoot something, and I have a bunch of entries on each of my servers. So that's quite a bit of information to sift through. And thankfully, NetData with this new feature makes it very easy for us to go through this information. We can even search for things if we know something that we're looking for, like a keyword or something like that. So NetData's journal plugin makes this a lot easier. Another challenge when it comes to logging is what to do with all of these log files. Now, each log file by itself is relatively small most of the time and doesn't really do all that much damage when it comes to storage space, but the sheer amount of log entries can be overwhelming, not only just to sift through, but also overwhelming to your servers. The typical solution for this kind of thing is known as centralized logging. Basically, the ability to check out all of your log files and go through them from one central location rather than going from one server to the next, one by one, to look for information. Having all of your log files in one place is very convenient. Centralized logging gives us the ability to retain information like this even when the server that generated the information no longer exists. You could probably imagine why centralized logging is such a big deal. I already mentioned the fact that it's convenient to have a centralized place to look for log files, but with NetData, it has anomaly detection and all kinds of other features that allow it to detect issues before they become real problems. So the feature set of NetData combined with the feature set of SystemD's journal is a win-win. And with the journal, early boot logs are possible, which gives us logging information from an earlier stage than what was available before. And this can help administrators dive in deep when it comes to what's going on within their infrastructure at various stages of a system's lifecycle. Anyway, back to NetData. 
NetData is a zero config service and the new journal plugin is no exception. On my end, I use Ansible to automate all of my systems, which ensures NetData is always at the latest version on every single one of my servers. As soon as I found out about this feature, it was already present on all of my systems, and I saw the information show up here on my NetData Cloud account immediately. This means that I had access to valuable logging information right away as soon as the new version was released. To be sure though, let's check out which version of NetData I have installed right now. I'll just access one of my development servers that I've conveniently named Dev, clever I know. I'll log into that server. It's currently running Debian, in case you're curious. But what I'm going to do is run NetData, and I'll give it the option dash V because I want to check what version is currently installed. You can see here on my end that I have version 1.44 installed. So you'll need at least that in order to benefit from this feature. But if you are doing a good job of keeping your packages up to date, then you're already at a version that has this feature. I'll be showing more of the SystemD Journal plugin shortly, but here's a list of features that the new plugin offers. First, it works on both individual servers and also centralized journal servers. And what this means is that while you might be able to very well replace your current solution with NetData, you don't have to. NetData is able to work alongside your current logging system if you have one. The new plugin also supports both persistent and volatile logs, and in addition, the plugin also supports filtering on any journal field or field value for any time frame. This helps you find exactly what you're looking for quickly, and also, it works directly on journal files without any third-party components being necessary. And with all of that said, let's dive back into NetData. Where we left off, I'm here in my NetData Cloud account showing some of my servers. On the Logs tab, I have a SystemD Journal section right here on the right. I have a list of servers and also some logging information here on the left-hand side of the screen. And you'll also notice that the function that I'm using right now is the SystemD Journal function. And again, I'm on the Logs tab, so that's why I'm able to see all of these log files. But as you can see, there's a lot of information here. So what we could do is use NetData to help find something if we're looking for something in particular. And one of the ways that we could do that is by choosing a source, which is here on the right-hand side. For example, I could check this box right here to view the system logs. I also have the ability to check user logs as well. And I could choose different log sources on the right-hand side to pinpoint what I'm looking for. Source in this context refers to the log source on the server itself, for example, the system log. The system log within SystemD's journal is where logging is sent by default, so this is a good place to look while troubleshooting something. Another thing we could do is check logging information for user journals as well. In addition to the system journal, each user on the server that's not a system user will have their own journal. Basically, any user ID above user ID 999 will have their own journal. Something that's noteworthy about this is that journal CTL doesn't show user journals, so in the case of NetData, the ability to view user logs is actually a benefit. Another thing that I'd like to point your attention to is the fact that you could customize the journal fields that are shown here within this table. If you click on the gear icon, this icon right here, you could choose which fields are visible. A good example is priority. Perhaps you want to view the priority of each logging item. So what I'll do is select all for the source, and as you can see, we now have a priority section. So we have log entries here that pertain to info when it comes to priority. And of course, some of them have no priority, but if you're looking for something that is more critical, and I have a lot more going on with my Proxmox server, so let's go to that one here. We'll add the priority column. And now we see the priority here. So we have an error. So if I'm looking for specifically errors, it can definitely narrow down the results. I mean, just look how many log entries I have here. There's quite a few. And that'll definitely help narrow down the results that you see here on the logging tab. And also, you could perform a full text search on any information that's presented here, and that'll also help you pinpoint exactly what you're looking for. If I wanted to troubleshoot this, for example, I could type the word limits here because that's what this particular problem pertains to. And I only have one log entry that pertains to this, but as you can see, I was able to type that in and narrow down the results to only that. So that's definitely a lot faster than looking through each of the log entries one by one. But anyway, as you can see, we have a list of systems here, so anytime I want to view logging information for any of my servers, 
I don't have to go to that particular server to view the logs. I mean, I can, but I really don't want to do that. If I'm troubleshooting multiple servers at the same time, perhaps servers that are related to each other, then it's especially useful to have them all in one place right here. I can inspect my Kubernetes staging server, for example. And I'll clear the full text search here so I can actually see results. I have all this information here at my disposal, and I didn't have to set this up. All I did was update NetData to the latest version, and now I'm able to check out the log files on all of my servers. How cool is that? However, the logging fun doesn't end there. Within the next few weeks, NetData is going to be rolling out support for additional logging sources, such as Loki and Elastic. So make sure that your installation of NetData is kept up to date so you could take advantage of those new features as soon as they're out. Now, there's more that I could have shown you when it comes to this plugin, but what I recommend is you just check it out. There's nothing you have to do to set it up, and if you already use NetData, then you already have access to this anyway. If you don't have NetData installed, then I already have a video on my channel, a complete getting started guide for NetData that'll walk you through everything you need to know to, well, get started with it. So if you want to get started with NetData, then I'll leave a card for that video right about here. And with all that said, there's our video. I hope you enjoyed today's video on NetData's journal plugin. It's a pretty neat feature, and it's also very convenient to have all of that information in one place. So check it out and let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. With all of that said, though, I really appreciate you checking out this video. Like I mentioned, thank you so much, and I will see you in the next video.